my favorite issue. Ooh, welcome back on the Suicide Squad Comic Club issue number whatever, but it's Saturday and it's pretty early in the morning, so let's give it up for you guys who wake up and watch this video. In issue number 8 we finally have a chance to dig deeper into the characters and understand them in a very personal way and maybe we we'll get closer to them, which I think as a reader for me it's pretty important to get close to the characters and for me this was the reason why this issue was so freaking good and important. Through Simon the Grieve, the psychiatrist, we finally have a chance to understand Mrs. Waller as well who we don't really have a chance to hang out with and now we understand why she's in this mission, why she's doing what she's doing and I find it very very interesting, especially when he suggested to her to use her anger in a very useful way. At this issue we get a lot of references to The Secret Origins, issue number 14. The most interesting part of this issue was the fact that Rick Flagg can't really deal with his Russian action and what happened there and he wanna go back to save his mate but he don't get the permission for that because they burned down a couple of bridges on the way and it's quite dangerous feel the US relationship with Russia is on very very thin ice while Nemesis is away we got Mark Shaw aka the privateer who get involved in a confliction in the moment when he stepped into the building and because of that he don't really have a really good relationship with Rick Flagg. I don't know what they think about it but for me Angel Dress Stay is the most interesting character especially at this issue where she goes to visit Madame Senadu who is basically um, a fortune teller and she telling her things and she understand her like no one else. Here comes my favorite line in this issue. June Moon is a mystic time bomb and basically it's freaking true because how long could June Moon controlling Angel Dress when she always losing her mind when Angel Dress is around? She gave her a ring which activated by thoughts and powered by will which if you combine it with the necklace can control Ancient Trust and it can give a chance to June Moon to be in control of her own personality. And the most ridiculous part of this issue was definitely the psychiatrist's assistant Marion who has feelings for Ray Flag, what a big surprise, and because she's him assistant she shouldn't have feelings for a patient, especially not when that patient is broken. And it's kind of interesting and I'm just hoping we're gonna see more of this because it's so random, it needs to mean something, right? Like it or not, but it feels like a pre-Harley Quinn in the Suicide Squad, which is really awesome in a way, and in other ways it's really scary. But let me know what you think about this issue and we definitely have a lot to discuss, especially around Engine Dress and the Rick Flag's breakdown, which is really dangerous. What do you think? Can Rick stay as the leader of the Suicide Squad or not? Let's read the next issue and come back tomorrow. Oh, by the way, don't forget the tomorrow issue is a part of the Millennium storyline, so you could read that one. I will skip the Millennium stories, but it's give you a heads up what's coming next. So let's come back tomorrow and let's discuss what's happening in that millennium storyline.